Hi folks, it's been a long time I'm planning to build the case for my Bluetooth amplifier module. It's ready, so I'm happy to show it to you today. It seems that it is very popular now to build portable boomboxes. I have already made an active speaker set, but it doesn't provide Bluetooth connection, and while it is designed to be portable, it doesn't contain battery. So and I wanted to have a more portable one with Bluetooth support. The TD7492PM combined with a Bluetooth module seems to be a good candidate for the project. The box has this retro look with a nice wood finish. It contains the Bluetooth amplifier module but doesn't contain any speakers, just speaker terminals. I can power it with a cordless drill battery or from an external power supply. There is an auxiliary input as well. The front face is 3D printed from a translucent material, so the indicator lights are visible. I assume people are using all kinds of battery solutions for their portable boomboxes, but I didn't like any of them. This module can easily pick up some tens of watts, so a small LiPo charger module is not capable for the job. Bigger lithium batteries cost way too much and requires a special charger unit that I do not own. The best would be lidocyte battery, but they are too heavy. So I looked around and realized that I already have a charger, a charger for my cord rest rigger. And the best in it, this type of batteries are compatible with wide range of tools and even shows the charging level. So for a portable operation, a wireless drill battery will be used. As normally I use external speakers, I decided not to include the speakers this time in the case, I just provided mounting terminals for the external speakers. Anyways, if I want a good portable Bluetooth boombox, it would be probably the best idea to buy a good quality product. The new amplifier will replace this retro one, so my first thought was to keep the design of this one. Overall, I very much like the wood look of the retro radios and amplifiers, but the battery I'm about to use with has a very futuristic design. So I wanted to combine the both, have some retro shape and paint it grey, black and silver. But at the very last moment I just couldn't let the nice wood grain covered with paint. So it doesn't look well with the battery, but I guess most of the times it will be seen standalone. I have seen some radios with vents on the sides, so to add a bit of futuristic look, I have added decor pieces on the sides. I have needed a snap-on connector for the battery and fortunately I have found the 3D object for this already prepared. So really all I needed to do is to print it out. You can find link for this object in the details of the video. I have made the arrangement around this base. By designing the shape of the case I was inspired by a design where it operates with flat surfaces. Again you can find the link for the downloadable 3D design in the details of the video. I always like to try out new techniques, so I thought it's worth to highlight some building steps. So I had all the design faces cut, all the parts 3D printed, I can begin with the assembly. First cut the holes for the decor pieces and the auxiliary input. I glued the holding pieces to the sides. I needed to get rid of the speaker connectors to spare some place, so I also disordered the DC plug. To attach the electronics to the front, First I have screwed all the legs to the board, then used some drops of ABS dissolved in acetone. This bevel design was a bit tricky to assemble. First I taped all sides to its place, then mount the battery piece to the bottom side. At this point I have removed the back side to glue pieces on the top that will match with the sides. I really wanted to avoid to have visible screws on the sides, but I couldn't find a way for that. Then the back was mounted. Actually all holes was just pre-drilled at this point. When applied the final side drill bit, I was forcing the hole to be towards from the edges to have a better seal when the two sides will match. Now it was time to attach the power switch. Again I have used a lot of dissolved ABS to form a nest for the switch and then glue it in its place. I nearly forgot to make hole for the DC connector. And this was the point where I decided not to paint everything to grey, but the wood was already covered with a coat of transparent stain. So I needed to add several coats of colored stain for the final look. First I have used brushes, but then I switched to a piece of sponge 
and that made a much more natural look. Then I have spray painted all the areas where I wanted to have silver finish. All the edges, the decorative pieces and the grills. At the front I have an unwanted spot, but I could remove it with alcohol as the paint was not completely dry. I have glued the black material to the back side of the grills. For the battery terminals I have used some copper strips. A foam piece will apply pressure to the contacts and started the wiring of the things. The ground terminal of the 3 leg DC socket will connect to the third leg when no plug is inserted. This is the final assembly. As a final touch I have labeled the ports. That's all for now, I hope you liked it, thank you for watching, bye bye.